same week. <laughs> that same week. I'm talking about literally two days after I said it. That's when Mike McCarthy went to Rich Eisen. <laughs> And I'm telling you right now, they keep playing these games with Dak. Dak is go, man, he go want up out of here, man. He will leave. See, you ain't gonna keep treating me. You, you, you not gonna keep treating me like I'm replaceable. You know, and then Dallas, let's keep it real. You bad at picking quarterbacks. Like, how do you have the nerve to act bougie? And you wanted Paxton Lynch. Jerry, you literally said you lost sleep over Paxton Lynch. And you didn't even really want Dak. So how you go act, how you go act like you know how to pick him? And it wasn't even Paxton Lynch, they wanted Connor Cook. Yeah, and you go, you got the nerd, and and and, and I'm a full fledged dime. I'm a model. I'm a full fledged twelve, and you treating me like I'm a four, bruh. And I'm the only one that's getting treated like this. Are there any owners doing this to their guys? Is this happening to Trevor Lawrence? Is Trevor Lawrence getting treated like this by the Jags? Is Herbert getting treated like this by the Chargers? Even hurts is he getting treated like this by the Eagles? So if I'm looking around and I'm seeing other quarterbacks get treated with just basic respect by our front office and our bosses, why would I take that abuse from the place that I say I love? Bruh. Eventually you gotta say I did love you. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I love you. I used to love you. I love me. So, because I love me, I can't let you do me any, any kind of way. But let's keep going, man. Hold on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I ain't going to interrupt no more. Here we go. <laughs> 